Hi, it's Squidler. So, this isn't going to be like a typical video, um, but rather instead I'm going to give you my unfiltered thoughts and reaction, I suppose, about the current situation that's occurred over a free radical design. Now, this is all from what I understand, and what I understand is not very good. <laughs> so, I just want to emphasize that point as well, that I'm not an industry whiz, I don't know the ins and outs of how it works. Before I go on, and in case you haven't heard the news, Free Radical is supposedly closing down, with layoffs having already occurred at the studio. For most of you guys watching, I can probably guess your initial reaction to that was, oh god, not again, you know, as was mine. I just want to say, before I make any future comments, this hasn't been made um, officially quote-unquote public. There's a lot behind closed doors things going on, obviously. However, the writing seems to be very much on the wall. Secondly, I just wanted to make sure it gets across how my heart goes out to everyone currently involved with the situation of our free radical. Right before the holiday season too. Like, fucking hell, I can't imagine the anxiety or the stress they must be experiencing. Layoffs are horrible. I, I can't imagine the morale, how horrible it must be. So to sort of understand where we are, the news was an insider who reportedly told VGC about the layoffs done by the parent company Embracer, is what I, that, that's what I read. And it, it comes to no surprise considering the trend that's been happening recently. IGN, who picked up on the story, noted how over half the staff of Radical Design had changed their LinkedIn profiles to, say, searching for work. Which, you know, it's, it's so sad to see. There is a scenario where another studio would potentially pick up the pieces, right? Uh, I don't know exactly what the probability of that is, um, but, but man, like, <laughs> he would want to touch the Times Blues IP. After this, right? It's like some sort of cursed entity, like like a fucking pharaoh's curse. But to go back to my previous comment, we obviously saw Free Radical Design, well, you know, the original Free Radical Design, uh, closed down due to bankruptcy years ago, and I'm sure we all remember that period rather well. And then, like, Crytek took the reins from the cold dead fingers of Free Radical and, and just sort of didn't do anything with it. Um, for the passionate community of this series, how we managed to stick around for so long is truly amazing. Like, I'm still astonished to this day. There's people out there who share the same unconditional love for these games as I do. Especially impressive considering the franchise was like dormant for, for, for what, like 15 years? God. Yeah, we also just kept talking about it to people. Word of mouth was spread over those years. Facebook demand posts and fan recreations have kept the franchise in the consciousness of someone now there. Because after so long, we finally started to get new developments with this franchise after, you know, after a million years. And uh, what's especially saddening to the fans regarding the news is the revival seemed to be a dream come true, led by two franchise vets resurrecting the old studio to be given the task to exclusively work on time splitters. And I just want to also mention uh, my praises to whoever it was that might have pitched the idea to resurrect Free Radical, and whoever it was to get the ball rolling with a sequel after so long, like, thank you so much. It means, like, honestly, it means a fuck ton to, to all of us. And it was a dream come true, you, you made so many of us excited and happy at the prospect of a brand new Time Splitters, driven by passion by the looks of it, by people who care about the franchise and want to see it succeed. You know, after only, what, like two years, it just had to sort of be like this, and it's it's so sad, but um, as I mentioned prior, I, I'm, I'm hopeful. I don't know how these things work, but I'm hopeful someone out there would take the reign of time splitters again there was that one post last year with a team where they were stood outside wearing their like time splitters christmas swears right 
and uh, you know, call it PR or what have you, but just the enthusiasm the image gives. It's so sad to look back on. And it wasn't even like so long ago either, it was only like two years, it was last year! It was last year when that picture was posted. Which, to me, you know, it just seems like this was such a sudden decision, and that makes it so much more worse too, right? Like, Christ, man, like, what a terrible... I, I'm, I'm just gonna keep saying it, what a terrible situation for everyone involved. If I do have to end this, um initial reaction with anything. It's my hopefulness a new Time Splitter game will come out because the interest is evidently there and someone somewhere recognised it, right? We'll just have to do what us as a community have become pretty good at doing and that is to wait. If any new developments arise regarding free radical design or Time Splitters, I'm gonna do a follow-up um, video about it. So. Let's be hopeful, right? And let's patiently await to see what comes next. <laughs> my uh, my predictions from that Times Plus 4 video is aging like a fine milk, right? <laughs> oh god.